double click on your Macintosh hard drive and then click on applications. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pull a couple of these icons down to our dock. Uh, let's pull down QuickTime, though you may not be brave enough to make a QuickTime movie just yet. We'll have it down at the dock there so it nags at you a little bit. Also, let's pull down iTunes. And we're going to pull down two more. We're going to pull down Apple Configurator and the App Store app. We're going to put these side by side, the iTunes app. All right, so now our tools are here and they're readily um, accessible to us. If you want to make a really quick screencast, get onto iTunes or the App Store to find some apps, or access Configurator really quickly to do an update before class or before we head out the door for the evening. Before we get to Configurator, we have to first download the apps we want. So, you can either use the App Store or you can use iTunes. I use iTunes, I find it to be much more uh, accessible at using Configurator with iTunes. So, I'm going to click on iTunes and let it open up. And what you see here is in my library, you see that I don't have any music, I don't have any movies or TV shows, I don't have any books quite yet, but here are all the apps that currently um, I have access to that I can put onto my iPads. All right, we're going to add two different apps today. One is Google Chrome, which is a great, uh, great browser to put on the iPad, um, and it supports our students who all have Gmail accounts and Google Drive accounts. And second of all, we're going to be putting on a whiteboard app that's free and really great called EduCreations. To get to those apps, we have to first click on the store. Now it already shows me logged in as Bogan12 at cps.edu, which is my Apple ID. If you click on the iTunes store and you've never been on it before, it may prompt you to log in with your Apple ID. So make sure you have that information before you get started. To find the apps, it's really quite easy. You click in the upper right hand corner and for instance, I'm going to type in Google Earth and then hit the enter key. And now you see that there's an iPhone and an iPad version of this app. We're going to click on the iPad version. Give it a moment to access iTunes and begin downloading for us. The download should only take a couple seconds if you're doing this at home. If you're in a CPS building on an enterprise network, it could take a couple minutes to download. All right, let's see if we can download this now. And one that, once that begins downloading, you can begin to search for another app. And the next, the next one we're going to look at is Edu Creations. And it comes up as just an iPad version for that app. So now we're going to click on Download for Edu Creations. And then to verify for us that we have this now in our library, I'm going to click on Apps. And here you see Edu Creations and Google Earth right there. Perfect. Now we can actually close out of iTunes since we've downloaded what we need to to our library. You can either click on File and Close Window, or if you hit the Command button and Q for Quit, it'll close the application as well. All right, now we're ready for Configurator itself. Click on Configurator and allow it to open. If this is the first time you're using Configurator, what you want to do is click on Prepare and then you want to turn supervision on. Supervision allows you to sort of protect the iPads from theft and from tampering. We can click on apps and this is where we add our apps. We have two apps right here that are paid apps. To add an app you're going to click on the plus. What you want to do is you want to click on music and then you click on iTunes and then you click on iTunes media and then mobile applications. Let me do that one more time for you. So you're going to click on Music, iTunes, iTunes Media, and then Mobile Applications. And here you have all of your apps. What I'm going to do is change the view from these tiles to a list. So it's a little easier for me to see everything. All right. And now the two apps we're going to add are Google Earth, and also we're going to add Edu, uh, edu Creations. To select both of them at the same time, what you would do is click on one of them and then hit the command button, bring the mouse down to the other and click on that one and now they're both highlighted. You can release the command button and then hit open. I'm going to enter in my password here. We have Google Earth that's importing. 
and now we have Edgy Creations that's importing as well. And now we have the apps we want. Once you've set up all this stuff under Prepare, click on Supervise and click on Apps. And then you're going to want to put a check mark by the apps you want to add to the iPad. And going forward, if you want these apps to stay on the iPad, leave them checked. The way you delete an app off of an iPad is you simply uncheck it in Configurator. You plug in the sync cable to your USB port on the side of your MacBook and then you hit apply and if it's unchecked this is deleted off of the iPad because you may find a lot of free apps you think are going to be very useful and then you download them to the iPad and you realize while your students are using them over a couple you know over a couple lessons they're not as beneficial as you had thought and now you're scratching your head thinking how do I delete all of these apps off the iPads it's really simple again you simply uncheck what you don't want and then you hit apply and then to delete it from configurator you highlight it and you hit minus and then you're prompted to delete the app. It's very simple to do. So what you're going to do to add the apps is check them. All you have to do is hit apply and once you click on apply you're going to get a status circle that appears by each of these iPads that helps you see visually how long it takes or is going to take for each iPad to update and when it's done you're going to get a little horizontal battery icon that appears that shows you that the iPad is done syncing and it's charging now.